one of the reasons why we bring the fullback inside is to avoid transition and to defend better in the moment that we use the ball. First of all, for instance, in this case, as you can see, the shape is 4-3-3. And with the teams that they play 4-3-3, most of the time, when they are attacking, they just defend with three players. That means the two central defender and the old midfielder. Because fullback is higher, fullback is higher. Sometimes teams, they play with the winger inside, two attacking midfielder and the striker. So as you can see, you defend the transition. You defend the transition with, uh, with three players. And with the team that they are 4-3-3. Three, three. For instance, with the team that they are 4-2-3-1 uh, or 4-4-2, four, four, doesn't matter. More or less happen the same thing, that uh, they, they bring both fullback higher. They attack with the winger inside, 9-10, and the two fullbacks. And as you can see, they defend with the four players. So the reason why uh, the fullback inside, for instance, if you are in the way we, we try to play, that it's three and two, and then we have two wingers, two attacking midfielder, and number nine. So as you can see, in this case, so we defend the transition with the five players. So one of the reasons why we try to bring the fullback inside is defensively, because in the moment that we lose the ball, we have five players defending the transition. Not the main reason, but one of the reasons why we bring the fullback inside is to avoid transition and to defend better in the moment that we lose the ball. Then there are many reasons why we bring the fullback inside when we have the ball, because the idea is to have uh, an overload in the middle, extra player in the middle, and always try to have an extra man. In the middle, we, we try to create this one, two, three, and four players against three. So we have an extra man in the middle, and this allow, allow us to control better the game. So we try to use the fullback inside, and the main target is to have an extra player in the middle. As you can see, against 4-3-3, in this case, we have four against three in the middle, and we have one extra player that give us more control. How, how the opponent they can do four before? Jumping with the, one of the central defenders. So in this case, he can come here, he can come here, and he can come here, and we are five against five in the middle. But this also, it's a benefit for us because first of all, we are moving one central defender out from his position, and also because we are, as you can see, man to man that uh, for the opponent is good because they can be more aggressive, but in the same time for us can be good because we are one v one winger in both sides. We are one v one number nine, and we are four against four in the middle, bringing out of his position the central defender. That is never easy for a central defender. So this is, uh, as we said, not only a reason why we bring inside the fullback defending better but it's also to attack to try to attack uh, to attack better against 442 for instance it's more or less the same concept as you can see now in the middle we have four against two so they are the two old midfielder and we have four players it's four against two what's happened most of the time and happened this year already many times that uh, to try to match the four against two in the middle, the opponent, they drop number nine and number 10. So they do like this and like this. Four against four in the middle. That, uh, yes, become more difficult for us because there are no space that we can exploit here. Probably the only one, and this is the reason why, why sometimes we drop our nine, is also to create this five against four when this situation happen. But uh, if we don't drop our nine, in any case, 
when the opponent tried to match this situation and with the nine and 10, that means that uh, because they drop number nine and number 10 with our old midfielder, we are in completely control of the game because that means that the three players here, they are without any pressure and we can play in the opposite side. But in same times, at least means that they drop in their side and we can, we can control the game. One of the solution when this happened, we try to drop our nine and to create this five against four. That is the same situation. They can jump with central defender and they become five against five, but it's the same situation. We have big space between fullback and central defender for attacking midfielder or for winger. The same, the same thing in the, in the other side. Uh, for instance, when we face team that they are 4 2 3 one it's the same situation. We have four against three in the middle. We have two against one here, against day number 10. So there is situ this situation two against one. Here we are two against two, but uh, overall we are four against three. So in the moment that they decide, for instance, to, to jump with this player to this player because the other one is here, this become free. The same thing in the other side. If they decide to uh, number 10 go with him, all the midfielder jump with him, this guy is free. That is similar to the other situation. How can match the situation jumping with central defender, but uh, we have man to man and we can attack uh, better. When the fullback go inside, uh, we behave like uh, playing three at the back. So they have to occupy the space all the width, they need to occupy that. And, and probably the main player in this case become the central, the central defender, because he has also to recognize what is going on here in terms of if they are man-to-man, uh, -man, if these two players, they are free and they can play. Then when we try to play here and they are a little bit more aggressive, we need to come back with the keeper to start again. And in this case, we are here with the ball and the opposite, they try to press us. We use the keeper. So in this case, if this player drop here, the keeper is dropping in the is, is going the opposite side. Or if this player is dropping in this side, the keeper just make in the opposite side. And we become four at the back with the, with the keeper. But uh, as we said, in the moment that we become three at the back, we need to occupy the right space and a little bit to to understand what is the solution. In this case, as we said, against 4 for 2 probably is nine dropping give us the 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 the, the, the chance to, to connect with him and to set the ball with the, the two old midfielder. Or if he's dropping too much, we can play with him and set the ball with the attacking midfielder ready to attack. Depends a little bit how uh, the opponent they behave. One of the quality that uh, you need is to be able to move yourself in small space. We used to say to move in the traffic because for instance, in our, in our case that we are four at the back and we bring this player inside that in this moment is Ricardo Pereira. For this player, you're gonna be in the traffic. Around you, there are more players than being here. So first of all, you have to be able to move in small space. And with us, for, as, as we said, Ricardo is doing that fantastic because he is good quality, he has quality, is good in the small space, is improving a lot. So probably one of the quality for sure that he has to be able uh, technically and be able to play in the traffic. These two players, one of the old midfielder and the fullback, uh, behave in the right way. Uh, being in the right position probably allow one of these two guys in the pocket to receive the ball with more, uh, more time and more space. And when you are here and you can receive the ball uh, without any op opposite trying to, to pressing you, it's much better uh, because you can cause problems. So for sure, one of the reasons is because you can allow player in front, so wingers attacking midfielder or number nine, to receive with more 
more space and more time. As we said, if this guy decides to jump here, so this guy is the guy that becomes free and he can receive in the moment that he receives the ball, he can receive this ball with the more, more space and more time. Even when we are already with our fullback inside and we lose the ball, immediately we try to maintain the same shape. I mean, the, the fullback stay inside until we recover the ball. Now, if the opponent, they are able to give four, five, six passes in a row, so fullback come back in his position and we become line of four with the, with the fullback. But the, the main idea is in the moment that we are attacking and we lose the ball, we don't drop with our fullback. We maintain the same shape and we try to be aggressive with, the, with all the players forward. We had uh, this year, unless probably between 65 and 75, some, some games even more possession. So because they, they drop and they, defend, they try to defend in this side and don't give us space, they give us the ball waiting for our mistake and to, to go in transition. But uh, since we start, we are using this solution and it's giving us for sure the control of the game, for sure uh, more players inside so we can create more dangerous. And because we said in, in our case, in this moment, Ricardo Pereira is the player that is going inside. He already gave this year many assists to his teammates in terms of goal, chances, penalty, because these two guys, most of the time, when, when they decide to drop player with quality, like uh, Harry Wings and Ricardo in this moment, they are giving us this solution. Probably the best team doing this, uh, for sure, it's, uh, it's Pep, Manchester City. Uh, even if now they, they extend and the fullback, they bring inside the central defender, but uh, more or less the, 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 the target or the concept are the, are the same. So no doubt that uh, Manchester City. <laughs>